If you'd like to learn how to increase the performance of your HP Slim PC by installing some additional RAM, then stay tuned. Now let's go to our system information page and check to see how much RAM is installed on this computer. And as you can see right here, when we purchased this computer, it came with four gigabytes of RAM. Let's go ahead and shut down our computer. After the computer shuts down and powers off, let's unplug all our wires. After taking a screwdriver and removing the screw, you can then remove the outside cover of the computer. Now, let's remove the optical drive. Disconnect the two cables that plug into the back of the optical drive. Now, press the green lever to release the optical drive and from the back, push it out so it comes through the front side. Now, slightly pull up on the tabs to remove the front bezel. Push the button shown here to remove the drives cage and put it to the side. You don't actually have to disconnect any wires, just simply put the drive cage to the side. Before we touch anything on the motherboard, let's place our hands on the metal chassis of the computer for a few seconds to remove any static charge. This will reduce our chances of damaging any of the electronic components on the motherboard. Now let's press down on the two white levers shown here to release and remove the 4 gigabyte stick of memory. Here's the memory we'll be installing in our computer. It's a total of 32 gigabytes, so each stick is 16 gigabytes. This should significantly increase the performance of our computer. If you're interested in this product, we'll leave some links down in the description below. Push each of the four levers outward so that the memory can be installed. Let's touch the metal case of the computer once again to remove any static charge. Position each stick of RAM correctly over each slot and push down firmly on each stick of RAM until the levers engage and lock in. Now let's reinstall the hard drives cage. Reinstall the front plastic bezel. Reinstall the optical drive and connect the wires.
Reinstall the metal cover. Reconnect all the wires. Turn your computer back on. Verify that the operating system is recognizing the additional RAM that we've installed. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, hit that subscribe button and click that bell so anytime we drop a new video, you'll be the first to know. Hit that like button and leave me some comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in any of the products we used in today's video, we'll leave some links down below. Hope you have an awesome day. And thanks for watching.